All right, you're with Al. That's where you say your name, this bit. Paul Waring. Biff, with Al and Biff. Biff's like, he's getting better, but he's got a little bit of a little strain in your back. A little bit, it's getting there though, it's getting there. He was hitting some lovely pitch shots before, and I seen him hitting lovely pitch shots, and I thought, you can help me hit some lovely pitch shots as well, in this little session here, and then I'm gonna do a little test on the track man to see what he talks about actually makes any sense to me. We're going to do this as our own little challenge between each other. This is kind of my practice, try and gain the psychological advantage when I score really high and he's thinking, shit, he's actually good. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Right, bit of context with my pitching. I mean, it's well documented, I've said it a bit. I used to struggle a lot with it and the focus for a long time was basically just getting club on ball and not flapping a divot over the top of it. Oh, or flying one at head height, which often happened quite flapping a bit. Flapping a divot over the top of it. Literally throw a couple at head height at people, which isn't ideal. So that being said, I feel like I'm a lot better at me pitching, but it's really like, you know, like one dimensional. I've got yeah. one pitch. Yeah. Okay. It's always the same. It's just like whatever yardage it is. And I think my distance control is pretty good. Probably shouldn't have said that before I did a trackman challenge but distance control is pretty good but when there's any sort of wind or different lie or it requires like a lower flighted one or something I just don't feel like I've got like enough I don't know enough I, practice of it to commit to it I think you've course. trained as well as you are with your 58 or 60 or most lofted yeah based around trying to get a strike on it yeah so you've worked in like a bit of a clock face Formation Avenue, you know, yeah. sort of nine o'clock, six o'clock, two o'clock, whatever. Um, but I feel like you need to do that now with your 54 or your 50. Change the clubs up. Yeah, so rather than you physically change it, if you want to knock it down into win, I'd, I'd be using the same sort of move, so the same kind of sternum hand, sort of one pace kind of technique, so there's no driving of the club, there's no changing of the loft, and actually use the golf clubs you've got. So you don't you don't you don't necessarily play one where you try and like compress a 58 and hit it low, or one where you try and pop would, it up. I would inside 50 yards. Yeah. You've got to be you've got to have a bit of okay, imagination yeah. inside 50 yards. If the pin's like tucked front edge, you need to yeah. high flop or it might be back. A, you want to skip it. Yeah, up. skip it up a tier or something like that. Then yeah, you would do that. But when you're just trying to land it on a number, yeah, I, I think. You know, obviously, and then wind comes into that. I think if you want to try to control trajectory and it's just a flat number, I think changing clubs the easiest way of doing okay, it yeah. without going too. You don't need to go. Yeah, yeah. Because that's kind of where you know I'd, I'll do it on the course, and I'll be like, well, it requires a flat shot just because I think that's what should be played really, and I'll try and play it. But I think Matt Wallace said about practicing on here, do everything on here so you get on the course and you can do it, whereas I don't really practice that on here. No, well, they are. Just stay quickly before we get into this challenge, and I'm going to put you right on the spot here because we said we weren't going to do this, but we're going to do it anyway. Brilliant. Right, what I want you to do, what club's that? 58. 58, how far do you get 58 full out? Uh, like full, not... 100 yards? Yeah, 100 okay. yards full out. But okay, you very rarely hit a 58 full out. Go on, and hit me a, hit me a uh, full out 58. Wow. Well, do a full out, just, just a nice yeah, one. 100 shot. yard shot, a full shot. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah, we are. Uh, no, 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 we're not. We're not, we're not. Just chill out. This Double is the out. one that's broke as well. Yeah, Al broke this. Right, we're ready. Go on. Go do it. Go on, 100 yards. It's a little bit downwind, this. And I've literally put them on the spot. This could be brilliant. 100 yard shot, so pretty full. See, that's Beep. weak. That needs to go. Uh, aiming at the yellow thing, by the way. Oh, mate, there. I just aimed straight down the strike. I know you did. Go on, have another go, because you weren't aiming anywhere near it. <laughs> Honestly, I've just said we're aiming at the yellow one. I just went straight down the strike, oh, but... Yeah, yeah. 100 yards, 100 yeah? 100 yards. Beep. 97 yards, you can kind of do it. 97 yards, just here by my thumb. There Isn't you go. The scrubber? Uh, I don't know. You want it? It's over there somewhere. Proofs or the old scrubber? Absolutely. What club have you got there? 60. Oh, go on, then you hit 100 yards. I've got a bad back. Um, you hit right, it before. No, right, I'm just trying to prove a point here. Now, all I want you to do is literally feel 
a 90% shot. Okay. So it's just at that yellow flat, and just what you don't think about position or anything like that, just a 90% shot. So technically, this should go 90 yards. Carry 89.7. It was it. So that's just on feel. So now, grab your 54. Yeah. So how far does 54 go? 115. Flat out. Flat out, yeah. Okay, go on then, flat out. Beep. It wasn't a very good swing, to be honest, but. Doesn't matter. That's got 110. Yeah. So that's only for point of context. It's gone 110, 109.7, 110 for okay. all intents and purposes. So 90% of... Oh what? What oh, was that what? word you said uh, then? For all intents... How did it say it? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> so 115, 90%. So take 10% off it. Oh, well, I'm making words up. <laughs> Sorry. So a 90% shot okay. should go 105-ish. Yeah? Yeah. So that's what you're going to do now. You're just going to make the same swing as what you did with the 58. Just that 90% feel. Don't think about the yard. It's just, just hit 90% feel. No. I said 11 off 115 and it's gone 104. Is it? So Bad swing that though. Doesn't matter. Right, okay. It's <laughs> absolutely perfect. So this is what I'm saying. If you're basing it off the feel of your 100 yard shot, 70% swing goes 70 yards. Yeah. So now all you're doing is you're figuring out exactly the same format with this club. And you can do that more on the fly rather than going, oh, I'm not too sure. Positions. You know, positions wise. You can do that on the fly a little bit more. Okay, so if I say 90% with this is 105, then then you can sort of, if you've so got. What, so what does 50 go? 50%. Well, no, what does your 50 degree? Oh, 50 degree, okay, yeah. Go on. What, what, saying, what, what, yeah, what's full with 50 degree? 125. 125, there you go. So full out. Full out. And we're saying full out, it's not out your boots, it's just a full shot. It's yeah, just normal shot, yeah. yeah. And Maybe we're on a practice short, ground then. and stuff, and it is the way it is. Yeah, it's short by a yard. He said 125, he said it 124. Honestly. Oh. Oh, no, 90%, so 10% off that. Okay. One, one, three, one, one, two, one, one, three. Yeah. Okay. So 90% shot, one, one, two, one, one, three. One, one, two, one, one, three. Got a flyer there. Flyer, 122. <laughs> Oh, spin rate 6,000. I actually think I That's a flyer. Moves. That's a flyer. That's right. That is actually quite a good point in itself. Because. Oh, it's a really good golf swing. It's just spun at 6,600. But that's is a good just... point. If you play golf and your grooves are full of crap, that's what happens. It doesn't clean his clubs enough. Right, no, come on. just that last shot. Clean your clubs. That's a good point, though, isn't it? It is a very good point. It's gone 10 yards too far, but come on, no, 90%, 90% feel. Is it going 110? That's the flight. So one, one, two or three, one, one, one is a yard out. I'm not saying I'm good at this, but I'm good at this. That's, I mean, I've always worked on probably a little bit more technical with my pitching than that yeah which is why I get on the course and it is a bit like you know it's either very good yeah or it's not well look you can you know I don't mean it's not good in terms of how close how I strike it just not good in terms of distance controls one or the other well that's it so what all this does is on days where you can't feel your positions you feel the pace mm. and on days where you can't feel the pace you feel your position so it gives you two ways of doing it so that you can always match it in and it's a lot quicker to figure out rather than going, oh, is it, is it 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, oh, I'm not too sure. It's, well, it's just 90% feel of what I'm trying to do. I like that. It's easy, simple. Test time. Test time then, yeah. Okay, let's base it on what we've just spoke about. Well, I was just going to give you a challenge. So of, you... Uh, what, you, you, your head's gone here, right? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I just, like, I always just thought I needed more to it than that. No, you like, don't. But, 
you know, in terms of having the range of shots, but... Well, all you've done there is you've controlled your trajectory at certain numbers. And if you've noticed what happened as well, you, your wedges are set out in a, you know, his wedges are set out perfectly for this. Because you where you want, where your 54 ran out at 115, your 90% shot at 50 was around about 115 shot. Yeah. Do you okay, understand what yeah. I mean? Yeah, so you can adapt to what the greens are reacting like. You know, play. you take 10% 10, 10 off the 115, 54 shot, and that's your full out 58. Yeah. So you're staggered as you kind of go up. So you can always knock a flight down by just knocking another 10% off it. Yeah. Without having to mess around with the face and strike and all that sort of stuff. Makes sense. Easy. Test time. Uh, 61.05 we're going to do. Okay. Every five yards. I'm going to give him a proximity from the hole as well. Anything over 90% on this is really, really good. I'll be honest, right? You're nervous. Well, I am, yeah. And this isn't being negative. I'm not being negative about this because the pitching's come a long way. Like, yeah. you can vouch for me on that. Absolutely. But over 10 shots, I reckon this is where my average is brought down because I always think I have a couple that are way out. But that's fine. As long as your way out shots don't cost you more than par, yeah. you're fine. Okay. You're, be you're better off having five spectacular nearly holding them and five to 30 foot than 10 to 12. Yeah, okay, you're going to make more birdies You're going to make more way. birdies. Yeah. Okay. So don't worry too much. Just as long as the bad one isn't taking someone's head off yeah. 40 yards. As long the as the bad one doesn't cost you more than par, you're fine. Someone's head. Exactly. Right, you're a little bit downwind out the left and you've got 95 yards and it's on line with that yellow okay. thing. So, <laughs> so we're going to go full routine here. 95? Yeah, go on. I mean, that was full with 58. That's all it was going. That's just that drop then. Easy. Why has it got to be any more complicated than that? Yeah. We said 95. Ignore that because it scrolled on to the next, to the next one. 94.9. 10 foot right from the pin, so he's giving him 90%. Good distance control. Yeah. 70 yards. So now it's a 70% swing. Okay. I know that sounds mad, but what, what does 70% feel like? Okay. What are we getting? 70? 70. 70 yards. 70%, so it's not off. No. It's like, it's almost a three quarter shot, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Gone a little far. No, it hasn't. We're gonna have an argument. With the trackman. Yeah, trackman's broke. Trackman's broke. Why is the trackman broke? <laughs> Don't mention. Why have I brought that up? How far? It's gone 80 yards, but it hasn't has spun. It? But it hasn't spun. Oh. No mind, keep going. Hasn't spun. No. Keep what going. did it spin at? Like six, six and a half. So flyer. This just shows you can easily get that on the course. And again, you? the grass isn't perfectly tight, blah blah blah. And I'm pretty sure I did see a yellow golf ball in his bag before, so God knows what he's hitting. These could be top flight XLs for all we know. It's hiding it behind. Honestly. It actually is a decent ball, but carry on. 60 yards. Okay. So you make the decision, do you go on position or feel? What do you feel most comfortable? You've got both. So 60 yards is basically like, it's a 60% shot basically, yeah, isn't it? At you. Yeah, it's 66, but it's just a bit right. Uh, you see what I mean? I'm just not like tight enough with it. Yeah, but mate, I've had no. Stop making excuses. I've had three months of doing no, no. Yeah, but this this the whole work. point of it, and this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to get you in the performance area. Yeah. You're very good at trying to like burying your head in the ground, technical stuff. But let's get you performing. Yeah. 65. Okay. So what you ever you did swing wise there, perfect. That last one went 66. Okay. Do you always, because it's a shorter shot, would you always use your most lofted? This shot? Yeah. Yeah. Unless I have well, to run up That's a personal thing, isn't it? Unless I have to run up the tee. Okay, yeah. Because I, I like, I've talked about this before with pitching and chipping. I like 
the, where the ball, where the first bounce is to where it, so obviously the first hop, I want to get that distance as close together because then the ball's really under control. If it's coming in too shallow and having a massive first bounce, forget it, you're never going to have any sort of control over it. So you want the ball to be able to sort of pitch once, second bounce as close to that first one as possible because then the ball's settling and obviously staying around the area. 65. Sixty-six point six. Four yards. Uh, sorry, four foot from the pin. Score ninety-four. Eighty, Eighty yards. yards. That's my worst yardage. That's no, not. Well, it's not because I always do really well at it. Every time I've said that's my worst yardage, I do well at that yardage now. That was a sixty-five on there. He's not rubbish, is he? Let's be honest. Right. Is my little thing whether this is right or wrong? That yardage mm. that's helped me strike it better because I was that was the one that was avoid at all costs same as my chip and I set my hands early and keep the left wrist like low on my glove kind of looking at me yeah so it keeps loft on it it feels much more wristy than all my other shots but it works I know that's I don't know that's just how I kind of feel like I set my hands early it just feels better right way. 80 yards okay 80 80 so that's like an 80% shot yeah, with this perfect. club yeah love it simple that Touch yourself into it straight away. Eighty yeah. percent, bosh, bosh, bosh. Eighty-eight. I didn't think that oh. spun. I thought that was a little bit, God. a little bit nipped up. Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. It's eighty-eight. It's saying it's twenty-six foot from the pin. Yeah. Still got a chance to hold that, and you're not three putting from twenty-six foot. It's not a great shot, but it hasn't cost him more than par. Okay. Unless it's a back pin. It's still annoying though. And then it? he's off down there, he's probably out of bounds, and he's gonna have to do that. Sorry, that. Uh, and he's just made seven. 75. It's easiest with this, because I know this pretty much goes 100 yards, so whatever yard three it is, it's 75%. Yeah, three quarter shot. Sit, 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 sit. You know, that's good, because you know the feel. I'm not too bothered where this goes, and it's not too bad, it's gone 81. Yeah. But he said it straight away, he knew internally, straight away, it's too much. That's that's a good sign. 85. Might have forgotten about the wind here. Well, because I'm pretty sure I did say it's downwind out of the left. I thought you were talking, we say 75, you know, it's 75%. It's well, not, is it? Cause it's straight downwind. We've, we've talked about this. That's focus again, though, isn't it? No, we have talked is, about it. We did a whole we video did a whole on it. Video yeah, on we this. did do a whole video on it. So shows how important it is. How far? 85. 80 percent. Okay, shot. so playing, playing yeah. 80 yards then. On 80 percent. Okay, let's clean grooves. That's silly, isn't it? Silly that. Well, we're on the seventh shot out of ten, and we've only just figured this out. Good. Oh, he's called it. Good. He's called it. That's good. He's called it. It's called it. It's 100. It's called it. 100%. It's called it. 100%. Now he's gone the other way and hit it at 81. <laughs> Four uh, yards under it, straight down the line. 85, 12 foot from the pin. How far was it meant to be hitting it? 85. You've hit it at 81. I was trying to hit it at 80. No, it was 85. You've come down oh, to 80%. 80. Yeah. To go 85 because the wind. Oh, yeah. 105. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 105. 105. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's gone 80 yards. Yeah, yeah, it has gone 80 yards on, yeah, but you meant to say 85. Honestly. 105, right, that's 90% with a 54. Well, it was pretty much 110 full. Yeah, 90% shot with a 54. It is exactly that. That's, that we're working off like 115, yeah. that's 104. It, with the wind, because yeah. if it's 105, mm. we're playing just under 100. Yeah. No, you, you're trying to, it's 100. Just, yeah. Honestly, just 90% this, I think yeah. it'd be perfect. 90% swing, 54. 60. 60. 60. A little down the left. Carry 103.5. 100. Good yardage. 1.1 yards out. Good yardage. 90 yards. Here we go, 90%. Maybe a little less because the wind. 90 yards? Yeah. Got 
to be good that I've got to go a bit actually. No, good. Oh, yeah. oh it's good, good as a dog, good. good as a dog, good as a dog. 92. Okay. Seven foot from the pin. Okay. That's good then. 94% he had on that shot. How far? 92 he had. Uh, so next one is 100. This last one? Last one. Okay. So it's just a full, well, it's just a full one of them. Down the wind, it's okay. just a full one of them. Okay. Easy. Have you put that in a divot? Yeah. Why? Challenge yourself, mate. Oh, uh, shut up. All I'm thinking is, well, you haven't made a complete knob of yourself yet. It's like, honestly, you get in an old habit way of thinking and try and be positive. But you do, I still get that sort of... What uh, chance have we got? Don't fat it, don't fat it! <laughs> Honest? Ridiculous. What chance have we got, really? Listen, it's a process, I'm getting better. Track man battery's going to go, come on. Should be good. 95, That's 18 it. foot. Well, Not seems, bad. All they ever seem to be able to hit the 58. I need to get better before we have this challenge. But I'm just looking at this here. So it's giving you it's giving you a three handicap on that. <laughs> so room to improve. Um, but you've had one, two, three, so four, category one. five. You've had five over 85 percent okay so you've had five tech well which is going to be within 15 10 foot so he's given him of he's given him 50 percent birdie chances and the others haven't cost him more than par mm. so it's not that bad it but depends do you how you average read the score test. on that test on tour would be uh i would like to think average score on tour would be in the mid 80s mid 80s yeah okay. average Mm. Anything over 90 is very good. I'm not forced. I mean, again, not negative. I haven't misstruck one. No. Really. And in the past, that was where I would be. I'd rarely make a, a swing. I'd rarely make a pitching swing that felt I hadn't saved it somehow. <laughs> Genuinely, though. Honest. To be fair to you as well, to be perfectly fair, your 60-yard shot has only spun at 3,000. Yeah, 3,000. So that's gone 67. So that's, that was a flyer. Your 80 yard shot is only spun at 4,300. Again, a flyer and got 89. So that, was, that wasn't you as well, that was a flyer. Silly, silly grass. Just picked a bit of a long grass job. So it's not my fault, that's what you're saying. No, I'm saying two of them have actually legitimately not been totally you. Okay. So. That's good. good. But honestly, I mean that. Like, that's I am I'm pr genuinely proud of myself with my pitching because if I hit a good pitch before, it would have been like, oh, that's all right. Got an airborne. Like, you know, and I might hit the odd one where I'd strike it all right, but never did I make a pitch for about four, five, no, lying, probably ten years where it felt completely like flowing and no involuntary movement at the ball. So there is hope if you've got that. Because that's for me. I can actually work on distance control for years. I couldn't. You can't work on distance control when you're kneeing it, can no, you? No, well, you, well, you want to know what, something else that's really positive about all this. He's an idiot and he's figured it out and he's got better. And that says a lot. Not so even to argue. If you're struggling with the yips or you're struggling with that sort of the side of it, if he can sort himself out, you can too. I'm not even going to argue with that. Thanks. Wow. You've come out, you've helped me again. I'm some boy. You have, you know what, the last, you've shown your, um, you've shown your false colours the last couple of weeks. I've been nice. shown yourself to be like a good lad. He wanted to come out the other day in the rain and said no. <laughs> yeah, that worked out well, that was a good decision. Oh, that is so good. In the rain, oh no, that's thunder. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Is this camera waterproof? Well, anyway, thanks, Trackman. It's a little break on there, mate. Cracked in the corner, that. It's cracked in the corner, that. So, get your Trackman fixed. Thanks for watching. See you next Tuesday. I'll see you down the line. Well, how long did you take to say that? I'm trying to add a bit of suspense into it. <laughs>